There is no history palette in Illustrator as there was in Photoshop. Instead, we will use our layer palette in order to do the same kinds of things that you were able to do in Photoshop. And in a lot of ways, it's more versatile. Every time you make any kind of shape, anything at all, it creates a notation on your layer palette. So organizing your layers will be very important. But rather than having a history, so we can use the Control Z key to go back one. You could go up to edit and undo the last step and you could continue to do that or you could redo the last step. But in the layer palette, every single thing you've done has its own notation here in the layer palette. So if you need to go back, if you need to undo, you don't want this star, you can just delete it. You don't need to go back. And one of the nice things about that is it's infinite. So it can be something that you've done today. It could be something that you did two classes ago. It doesn't matter. You can go back and change and edit anything that has happened. And that includes going back to paths that you've had in the past where you can go and change and edit that. Um, it's just a different way about going about things and it just does not require that history palette that we were familiar with in Photoshop.